You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're taking a look at the brand new Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels, part of the uh, the Chopper Sabine 2-pack. Sabine on the side, I thought we'd just take a look at this box, but we're going to get a good look at the uh, the packaging that it actually comes in. Um, yeah, really excited about these two, got the ghosts coming. Um, yeah, at this stage, no updates as to exactly when, um, but yeah, PulseCon is actually on this weekend. Pretty much as I record, so you know we may find out very very shortly. Um, so yeah, the time of recording, yeah, no real updates, but um, yeah, I'm excited that it's coming. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely definitely pretty pumped about these two figures, uh, Sabine and Chopper. But yeah, we're going to take a look at Sabine first. Nice nice card art, matches nicely with the figures that are coming with the Ghost. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be busting these open. This one, VC332. So you got the nice, nice artwork on the back there. And I kind of decided I was going to open all these figures up. Um, I thought, you know what, if I want, really wanted a picture of that mural, I'd just find a nice high res and get it printed, <laughs> um, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about busting these open. Yeah, we're really looking forward to uh, I mean, maybe something a uh, Sabine that's slightly better than the uh, the Ahsoka version, which wasn't bad, just that helmet. Anyway, let's crack it open and have a look. All right, folks, here is Sabine, predominantly based on a sort of season four look, uh, which is kind of what they're going for. The season three, four, I don't think she changed hair colors much during three and four. Definitely one, one to two. Um, maybe, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, Accessory-wise, we're just going to move her to the side just a moment. Accessory-wise, I love that she comes with her jetpack, which is really, really cool. Let's focus. There we go. So that's, yeah, nice paint detail. And there is a single thruster on the back there, so that will peg into her back. Also, it comes with this flame effect, which we've seen a little bit recently. The range of figures. It's a nice, nice addition. So that fits in there nicely. Now it does slot into her back. We also get this Van Brace shield. And the same thing came with uh, Paz Vizsla. And again, her wrist gauntlet comes with a peg, so you can slot that in there it's a nice tight fit there we go that's not coming off so that's cool i like that a lot we get her two blaster pistols which i don't really remember from the series from rebels whether they were colored like this um i know that's how they came with the sabine from ahsoka in the ahsoka series live action sabine um but yeah, either way, it doesn't really bother me much at all whether they're the same, they're just sort of repacked. The fact that they've got those paint details is actually pretty nice. So that's cool, and they will fit nicely in her holsters. So that's good. And then last but not least, we get a helmet, which is absolutely worthy of the of the figure, whereas the uh the thing that came with the live action Ahsoka was you could have fit this helmet inside of it. <laughs> That's how, yeah, I, I'm glad Hasbro acknowledged that um, and, you know, went back to the drawing board for this figure. Definitely got a bit of an animated vibe to it you know, in terms of the style of it, but um, so it's not just sort of a repaint of, you know, Bo-Katan or, or Koska Reeves' helmet. Because, yeah, she's definitely got a, her own sort of unique style of helmet. Among her clan, which is cool. Some yeah, really nice paint details. So that that's pretty much the accessories, and we're going to take a look at the uh, the paint details because this is where this figure really really shines. Um, Sabine being a super sort of colourful character. Um, 
yeah, this gets a lot of pain applications. So, you know, I, I kind of understand the, the sort of the price range for vintage collection when they when they have this much sort of paint passes. And I actually love the head sculpt. That is super, just so well done for this scale. And, um, you know, the way they've pretty much gotten uh, Natasha's likeness and with the sort of the younger, funkier hair, it actually makes her look like a younger Sabine. So I'm just going to do a little side by side. You can tell that it's not the same head sculpt it could be I don't think so no because the older Sabine's hair is included that's part of the sculpt whereas this one seems to be a separate piece which is really really nicely done I mean even you know to the detail of Natasha has that little beauty spot on her cheek there and that's come through on the figure that's Fantastic. So nicely done. Be a, almost be ashamed to put the helmet on this figure and swap it out. So yeah, but the uh, the way the hair, the sort of the white that sort of blends into the purple at the roots, that's beautifully done. So nice. And the sculpting on the hair too, fantastic. That sort of Yeah, the sculpt on the hair is just unreal, that sort of asymmetrical bob and that hairstyle. She rocks so well. But even then, the rest of the, the armor plating, really nice. It's slightly off print on the top of the armor piece there, but not a big deal. I'm not too fussed about that. Just all the little details of the phoenix. We've got the, the more eye on the shoulder there. And on that side, the symbol Spectre 5 with the checker pattern. Even down to the uh, the, the van braces or the communicator on that wrist to the van brace there. And adding a little pop of colour there, which is nice. And then you get some of those little, just little sort of dirty details around the edge. You know, for a three and three quarter inch figure. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Going down to the belt. Yeah, pretty standard with the belt, that's fine. Some nice sort of detail with the buckle there. Otherwise it's just sort of brown. And the sort of the pants look good. As far as I can tell, this is pretty much all new. And then Spine's boots and knee knee armor. Got that sort of paint splatter look, which is very much her. So good. I'm yeah, I'm particularly blown away by this figure. This is uh dare say this one will be in my top ten <laughs> this year, without a doubt. Just the head sculpt alone just absolutely nails it. Now we're gonna do a little head swappy swappy here. I'm gonna pop that off. And see how she looks with the with the helmet on. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really really nice. Your rangefinder moves, which is great. Good good range of movement. Fantastic, nicely done. Yeah, this is a, this is a beautiful action figure. This is a. Uh, this is really, really nice. So yeah, we've had a good look at the paint details, all the colours of the everything else. Articulation. She does have the ball joint in the head, ball joint in the neck. Obviously, there's the articulation of the rangefinder. She has ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. Great range of movement there. Uh, wrists just swivels yeah just swivels in the wrists I'll let that one go <laughs> I'll let that one go that's not too you know we've had worse in the past but yeah no hinges in the wrists so yeah 
There may be a slight little cut to the budget there, but that's okay. Uh, upper torso joint there. It's got the ball and socket in the hips. Swivels at the top of the thighs. Ball hinges in the knee, so you get a good range there. Ball hinges in the ankles. Swivels in the feet. So you get that pivot, the rocker joint there. And yeah, that's that's Sabine. So we're gonna do the uh, do the peg test as well. Go Kessel Run action figure stands. The best. And there we have it. So yeah, she's looking absolutely marvelous. But the helmet is staying off, and this head is staying on because that is just. That's too good, way too nice to leave, to put that aside. So again, fantastic action figure. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below. I'll respond in due course. I always try to get get to them as quickly as I can. And just as an edited in footnote, I did say I'd do a little comparison with the Sabine. We did I did sort of show her earlier, but I thought I'd do a little 360 here. We can get a look at them both side by side. I do like this Sabine. Just the the helmet was a bit of a bummer, so you know I wouldn't has wouldn't be upset to see another version on a single card perhaps. You know maybe just with that helmet tweak, it's enough to make me want to buy it. I did it with Axe Wives, I do it with Sabine. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Whether you're getting the ghost, whether these are a couple of figures you'll pick up. But yeah, stay tuned. We're going to take a look at Chopper next. So until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.